Hello everyone. My name is Mahendra Jain. In this video, I will be taking you through our trip to Svalbard during the summer of 2022. It's a long journey from India. We changed flights at Frankfurt and at Oslo. We arrive at Longyearbyen in Svalbard. This is the northernmost settlement on our planet. The best way to explore this place is on a bicycle. 30 minutes of cycling and you can cover most parts of Longyearbyen. We plan to stay here for two days. On day two, we set out to explore the wildlife around. We see many species of birds. About 80 species of birds are found in Svalbard, most of which are migratory. Apart from birds, we get to see a reindeer and also a few arctic foxes. We soon pack our bags to commence the journey of a lifetime. MS Malmo would be our home for the next 10 days. We board the ship with a lot of excitement. After a security briefing, we depart from Longyearbyen. We have two Zodiac boats which we would use extensively. For closer views, the two Zodiacs are unloaded onto water. As a safety rule, the passengers always board first, followed by our cameras. We then start to explore the area. The landscapes are simply breathtaking. Every visual has something to offer. Some of the birds are tagged to track their migratory paths. Swalbird has 24 hours of daylight during summer. During our first night, we are woken up at 2 a.m. A blue whale is spotted. It is quite cloudy. Not the best light, but a good start indeed. This is one of the most spectacular bird cliffs in Svalbard. The rocks are home to thousands of guillemots nesting. We soon get our first opportunity to be back on land. We dock our zodiacs on an island that has several walruses. 
Walruses are quite lazy and rest for a long period of time. The most prominent part of the walrus are its large tusks. The stronger males dominate the group. One of the walruses gets into water and gives us a closer view. He soon disappears into the ocean. Walruses can be very dangerous in water. They sometimes puncture boats. It is best to speed away whenever a walrus gets closer. Our next stop is the Ostfona Glacier. The glacier is one of the largest in Europe, covering over 8,000 square kilometers of area. The glacial waterfalls are a treat for the eyes. As we continue sailing, we encounter several seals along the way. Seals are a major food source for polar bears. Whenever they sense any danger, they quickly dive back into the ocean. Beluga whales, by far one of the best sightings of the trip. Beautiful and white in color. They are also known as white whale. They are slow swimmers and could live for over 70 years. Their global population is estimated at under 200,000. Sometimes large chunks of ice fall from the edge of the glaciers. This causes large waves or mini tsunamis. We get to experience the impact of global warming firsthand. Increased warming in the Arctic has contributed to the melting of sea ice. Global sea level is rising as a consequence of glaciers melting. This is the impact of global warming. One fine afternoon, we get to see our first polar bear.
Polar bears have the most powerful sense of smell in the entire animal kingdom. They can smell their prey from over a mile away. She has certainly picked up a scent. But what and where? She gets into water and swims around. She is definitely looking for something. She dives into water. She does this a few times and we are still not sure why. Finally, the mystery is resolved when she dives again and this time doesn't come out alone. She has in her jaws a half-eaten carcass of a seal. She may have left the carcass on the shore after eating a portion of it and probably fell asleep. A high tide may have pulled the carcass into water. We have just had our first sighting of a polar bear and a wonderful one indeed. We let her enjoy the meal and depart from the area. Polar bears live out of reach and sight of almost all humanity. There are possibly less than 20,000 polar bears in the world today. The world's polar bear population of today is declining. There are threats to the polar bear such as global warming. The sea ice is melting under their feet. Hunting is yet legal in certain parts of the world. We hope that our future generations get to see this beauty in the wild in the centuries ahead. It is now time to say goodbye to MS Malmo.